Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the common long and triple jump faults that I've encountered with my group over the years and present some ways to challenge these, to overcome these. First off, let's take a look at takeoff posture and leg speed. Please note that not all these faults are applicable to all athletes, each will have their own individual strengths and weaknesses. We devised a drill where we used low hurdles in order to develop the leg speed and then transfer that leg speed into the takeoff. And we've also used hurdle runs away from the run up regularly in order to develop improved takeoff and a more upright running posture. Performing run ups on the track as well, away from the board, can also pay dividends. I found that away from the board, the athlete will be less inhibited and will really work on running through the takeoff point. I use as a key the need to get the feet down as quickly as possible through the attack zone. Next up, it's dropping the heels on landing. Now, this is often reflexive of the technique that a jumper uses, and Sarah, with her long legs, has difficulty with her hitch kick extending into the landing, so we utilised a low platform in order to give her a little bit more height in order to attempt to get those legs through. It's at this point now when Sarah needs to lift that right leg and then pull the left leg through into the landing and extend. It's still a work in progress but if we work on it continuously hopefully the desired outcome will result. Here's Paul doing another drill that works specifically on the landing. Hands are taken overhead and then swept past the hips as the legs extend. Next up we're looking at more of a power conditioning issue and a lack of eccentric strength where the jumper collapses, in this case during the triple jump. The solution to this particular issue is a conditioning one as well as a technical one. Technically, the feet need to move away from the athlete on ground contact and strike under the hips in order to maximise transference. As well as the technical aspects needed to improve this component, it's also important and as crucial to work specifically on the type of strength required, that's reactive strength and eccentric strength development. You've got to try to block the landing on impact with the ground and not bounce up. You'll see that Alex is slightly bouncing up out of the landing and the idea is to switch off the reflex so you only get the stretch on the contact with the landing. And at the end of the day, there's no substitute for hitting your bounding at speed in order to develop that eccentric strength and reactivity. As usual, thanks for listening and do subscribe to the channel and good luck with your training and your competitions.